Hey, what's up guys, going back to the channel. In today's episode, we're talking about something very, very exciting for you today. Something that is a game changer, something you need, and you just don't even know that you need it yet. So we're gonna go over this tool, top to bottom, and I'm gonna tell you why you really need this. Stick with us. All right, you guys, so this right here is the DeWalt DCB 094K, okay? Um, and it doesn't look that big. It doesn't seem like a really, really powerful Binford power tool, just kidding. Um, but it is a little, very functional device that you really need, okay? So you're gonna look at this and you're gonna say, oh, DeWalt already makes that, I already have that thing, right? It's got two USB ports on the back and stuff like that. What makes this different here? So most people are gonna say, you stick this on a dual battery and you're gonna be able to charge two devices with it, right? USB-A and USB-C. But the USB-C function on this device is bi-directional. So you're gonna say, okay, well that lets you charge stuff from a DeWalt battery, but you can also charge DeWalt batteries faster using the USB-C port here than pretty much some of your standard chargers, some of the ones that you get uh, packaged in with some of the other tools, right? So before we get too far into it, let's go look at the marketing hype and then we'll bring you in closer and take a better look at it. So this right here is a Dual DCB 094K USB charging kit. It is a breakthrough performance and convenience of charging. The USB charger is equipped with a 100 watt bi-directional USB-C power delivery port, which allows you to charge your DeWalt 20 volt max and flex volt battery battery packs and power to charge a range of your personal devices up to 100 watts. The charger's USB-A port allows you to charge devices up to 12 watts using your traditional USB, which is USB-A on hand, okay? It allows you to charge, like we said, all your 20 volt and flex volt devices, but not your 12 volt devices. It is a uh, 20 volt max uh, tool, you could call it. The USB-C port has power delivery function and the USB-A port will support up to 12 watts max, okay? It has generally a few LEDs that kind of indicate, you know, state one, state two of charge, all that kind of stuff. It is backed by their standard DeWalt three-year limited warranty and one-year service uh, free contract, 90-day money-back guarantee, all right? All right, so this is what comes in the kit. When you open the box, you get this. Um, you get this DeWalt braided 100 watt USB C to C uh, power delivery cable. It even says DeWalt brand on here and 100 watts and five amps. Just in case you weren't sure, you know, what the capabilities of the cable are, this one will go ahead and state that outright. I think it's smart that they do that because not all USB C cables can do power delivery and not all USB-C power delivery cables are rated to do up to 100 watts. 100 watts for a cable into something like this, that's pretty good. You know, you gotta have a good quality cable there. So uh, there's no doubt that uh, this is gonna stand up to time or whatnot, but you know, uh, Dewalt's generally not known for making all their stuff, usually just putting their name on some stuff, but this seems to be pretty good stuff here. You also get this uh, Dewalt 65 watt power brick. <clears throat> So what do you think is wrong with that? So this device obviously is a 100 watt power delivery in and out, okay? So why would they include a 65 watt uh, power brick? This is a standard power brick, you know, two prongs here. Uh, this looks like it will come off, you know, to for like other regions in case you have different power ports and stuff like that on here. Um, it's a DeWalt silkscreen like uh, logo imprinted or, or uh, uh, so screened on here, 65 watts. It's got one USB-C power, uh, power delivery port out. And uh, just like as I said earlier, DeWalt's known for just putting their name on stuff. This thing is actually made by Channel Well Technologies, okay? Uh, but the biggest gripe I have about this one is this is 65 watts. This is capable of 100 watts of input and 65 watts is not equal to 100 watts, obviously. So why did they do that? I don't know. Maybe somebody on DeWalt's probably going to have to point that out to us. Maybe they had supplier issues. Maybe they had some, I don't know why, but they really need to take this back to the drawing board and say, we're going to start including 100 watt power bricks and not 65 watt power bricks because stop shimmy shamming around, right? Uh, this right here is a DeWalt uh, USB star of the show. And DeWalt makes another one of the devices, pretty much all yellow, three LEDs that tell you the, the uh, status of the battery, and it has two USB-A ports. On this one, it's pretty much the exact same device, except it doesn't have the three USB, or the three uh, LED slots on here. Instead, it's got two, one big bar and one small uh, little dot. Kind of tells you, you know, stage one of charge is big bar is blinking. Stage two of charge, big bar solid. This is blinking, stage three, both of them are 
uh, lit and solid, which means it's fully charged. Um, it's got a hot and cold delay just in case you pull the battery off of a tool and it's hot and try to slap it on here to charge, it will not charge because obviously the battery is too hot, all right? So uh, there's that. It does come with this nice metal belt clip. That is convenient. I do, uh, you know, appreciate that they did that. The belt clip does have a keyhole in it just in case you want to hang it on something on the part of the wall. And the star of the show right here, which is the USB-A port back here, which is capable of up to doing 12 watts out, okay? Just in case you didn't know, that's pretty much what fast charge uh, specs are close to. Um, and this right here is the USB-C power delivery port and it's bi-directional port, which means you can put power into here and take power out of here. Um, the way that it really works is if you plug it into any wall type of device, this device knows using the communication saying that, you know, this is pretty much just gonna drop or send power. And this one can either drop or receive power, but the communication happens such that saying, okay, I'm gonna send you as much of whatever your power delivery profile you're capable of, right? So this one will obviously say, I'm capable of 20, uh, 20 uh, volts and five amps, but obviously this one will not send that because this is only 65 watts. But assuming you had one that was 100, you could do that, okay? Uh, on the bottom here, it's got the standard five prongs that you would see in almost all the devices. I'm gonna point out right here. This right here is a 20 volt tool, okay? It does not work, as this best says right here, 20 volt tool, it will not work on your 12 volt tools and it will, however, work on your FlexVolt tools because FlexVolt bat or FlexVolt batteries because FlexVolt batteries are backwards compatible with 20 volt tools. Okay, so if you're going to use this, you're probably going to use it with something like this, right? And you plug it in, the light will come on. Okay, and this right here is pretty much Dewalt tool plastic. I have no doubt that this is going to hold up um, over time. Uh, nothing here is rubber over mold. It's just all hard plastic and that's all there really is to it. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the fun stuff here. Let's take this uh, Dewalt 20 volt uh, or 9 amp hour flex volt battery, right? Which is a 20 volt battery in uh, or tw 9 amp hours in 20 volt mode and we'll slap this charge DCB 094K on there, right? Then we'll plug in this uh, uh, USB-C cable here and we'll plug the other side of this USB-C cable. As you can see, there's nothing else plugged in here and we'll plug it in right here and you should hear it beep. There you go. It's powered on, or I mean, it's charging. We'll go ahead and go look at how much power it's pulling. How do you do that? Let me tell you how. You go over to the top left hand bar of the icon, click on the Apple logo, go to About This Mac. When the About This Mac pops up, scroll over to your system report. And when you pull over your system report, go all the way down to the power section on the left hand navigation. And then on the power uh, tab, if you want to call it that, um, on the bottom part on the right side, it'll tell you AC charger information. On this one here, I'll take a screenshot of it right here. It will say AC charger is plugged in and that power wattage it's getting from that is 100 watts. Okay, so yes, it will deliver 100 watts as you will imagine. Okay, the other thing it will also do is it will be let you pull this uh, USB A port here and then also plug in a iPad at the same time. So it's actually capable of putting out a hundred and what is it, 112 watts if you think about it. And it does say that on the bottom here. If you look at it on here, I'll throw it up on the screen here. It will say USB type C output, right? Uh, 20 volts and five amps and then type A out port is, uh, or type A port output is five volts and 2.4 amps, right? So what does that mean? Obviously, you know, just do the math there and I think that comes out to about 12 watts, okay? So just keep that stuff in mind because that's what's really going on there, all right? All right, so let's take a little bit of a detour. If you get this tool, you are probably not gonna wanna stick with this 65 watt power brick. Sure, um, you mean, I mean, if that's what all you really care about, then you'll probably get that. I would actually just go and spend like, you know, like 20, 30 dollars, I'm not sure how much they are, but this one right here, I think I was able to get for about 100, uh, 30 bucks. But this right here, it says it's a 100, and 12 watt uh, power brick, right? This one is uh, by the Insignia brand, which is the Best Buy house brand. But this one will actually let you put 100 watts out of power delivery from the wall, right? Because it falls down and then you plug this in and then you actually start, uh, actually, let's go this way. If you do this, it will let you charge this battery like so, okay? Uh, this will, this configuration will actually charge faster than your standard uh, black DeWalt charger that comes in most of the kits these days because this is charging the battery at 100 watts. 
I don't know what the, uh, there's too many different models out there to go through all of them, but most of the ones that you get in the kits will not charge the battery at 100 watts, which means it is a slow charger. So this one is not necessarily fast rapid charger, like you know the, the yellow uh, battery chargers are, but um, it will charge faster than the black one. So the other thing to note here is generally just on battery information, on batteries like this, you do not want to rapid charge them. It is not generally good for their life. Um, so maybe that's why DeWalt always includes, you know, those black ones right here, but I will go ahead and say, you know, this will charge it at pretty much faster than those. So just keep that stuff in mind there. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and take a little detour. This right here is just a small blue eddy power station. Don't pay too much attention to it because we're just only going to be using this as a power source. All right. Um, it's fairly new and we kind of have it. We've had it for, you know, as soon as it came out and we've been using it for a while. So why do we have this? Let's take this power brick, right? We put the DeWalt one on here. Uh, because it's 65 watts, I did want to show you more capabilities. But the other thing I didn't point out in here is that these prongs are permanently on here. I mean, you could probably slide it out here. It looks like it's designed uh, to use different prong uh, sets here for different countries and stuff like that. But it does not fold up or go inside. I did want to point that out. It's just a hard, you know, permanent uh, setup you got going on there. So we're going to be using this one from Insignia that can do up to 100 watts of power delivery. So we have this here. Let's just go ahead and plug this in here. Actually, let's go ahead and turn it on. If I plug this in here, right now, obviously nothing should be going out of it because there's nothing connected to it, right? So let's go ahead and take this uh, FlexVolt battery. I uh, was using it just a little bit earlier. And then if I plug this in, right? Let's see what's going on here. See, you see the uh, battery blinking. It will go ahead and start blinking. And according to this, it is going at about 175 watts of AC output, which is interesting because I guarantee you this is not uh, pulling in 175 or 71 watts. But what's really happening here is the inverter in here has to kick on, which has, you know, obviously efficiency things uh, to go on. But this right here is actually putting out uh, 20 volts and 5 amps. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of measurement of that, right? How does that work? So you're probably not going to catch this on the screen because this screen will not come up on camera very well here, but what it does say here is uh, 20 volts and 5 amps, okay? So going off this 20 volts, 20 times 5, that's about 100 watts. Um, so that means this power brick obviously has efficiency loss. The inverter being on has, you know, absorbs power and there's efficiency loss through all that kind of fun stuff. So um, just by using this to charge the battery at about 100 watts, it's drawing about 107 watts from this tool, okay? So that is how that works, all right? So while this is charging, all right, let's go ahead and plug in this USB-A port, right, as we showed you earlier, and then let's plug in this iPad here, right? So uh, you probably can't tell very well on here, but the iPad is charging while this uh, battery is also charging. So uh, this battery can only charge at 100 watts, right? So if you're drawing about 12 watts through this USB-A, that means this battery is charging slower, but if for whatever reason you're carrying the DeWalt power brick and you only got one port out, you can charge your DeWalt battery and another device at the same time. So just wanted to point that out for you. All right, so let's close this out. What can we say about this tool? This right here is a great tool, okay? Um, we really love this tool. We bought this to us first, as soon as it first came out, ordered it, waited for it to ship, and we finally got it. We used it over the last couple days. Uh, actually, more than a couple couple days because over a week. Eh, we use it for a while and it works great, okay? So it doesn't really matter. It seems really hard to come by nowadays, maybe because it's in such high demand and shortage of supply, but it'll cost you about $99 from authorized retailers. Yes, we did buy this. Nobody sent this to it. This now smarts a video. Um, so definitely, I would go out and get one of these because you could do a lot of stuff with USB-C power delivery, okay? MacBooks run off of them. Other computers run off of them. Other tools and little screens and stuff like that all run off USB-C. So USB-C is the way to go. Um, so definitely get that. So for 100 bucks, you get this, this, and this little power brick. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, if uh, you are getting this, I would definitely go out and invest in a better, bigger power brick, something like this that is able to do about closer to about 100 watts. If you have an Apple computer or a, a MacBook Pro, right, with USB-C, I believe uh, the bigger ones are 15, 16s will come with, I believe, like 87 watt ones, right? If you have the US if you have the M1 Pro Ultra Maxes or whatever, it'll probably come with like 117 or 112 watt one. So uh, you could use those instead of the one that come with this, right? I mean, come on, man. I mean, what, what, why, would, why would you make such a great tool and then include this dinky little 65 watt adapter with prongs that don't even fold up? I mean, come on. So I don't know why DeWalt always just seems to, just, they, they, 
they make such great things and they just mess it up by like one little detail here and there. So anyways, that's just my opinion. Uh, if you do have lot bigger batteries like the 12 amp hour battery or the 15 amp hour battery, yeah, you could probably go all day with just that one 15 amp hour battery and uh, the MacBook. So uh, that's really great. I have no doubt that this is gonna hold up. I'm glad that they made this because you know, uh, in our previous video, we've modified the other one with barrel ports, right? And then started plugging in uh, power delivery adapters and stuff like that. So this is great because it's native, it's backed by the warranty, it's hard, uh, there's no doubt that this is gonna stand up. So for hundred bucks, this is a great investment. I'll strongly recommend you invest in this if you're looking for something with USB-C power delivery. Um, that's all I can really say. So otherwise, hope this video helped you guys out. Have a great day. If you had any questions or anything else, let me know and we'll see you guys next time.